Hi, my name is Daniel Michael and I am a deaf MMA fighter. Fighting is in my blood, and my dad was a boxer, so I always had interest in it. I really got involved with fighting when I tried out for wrestling in high school, and I can see that I had to pass it for it. I normally train six days a week, but sometimes I prefer to train alone to, to have some space and be more relaxing. To me, being deaf has nothing to do with disability, and I can do whatever I want. Even though it takes me more time of practice, will make me will make me more stronger. I remember at the training camp when I went with the high-level guys. And we were all fine. And I remember one crew told me that I need to switch out because I was deaf. So that kind of hurt me a little bit, but I told myself that I'm not going to let people stop me what I love to do. Normally, I train alone on the weekend. And during the weekday, I train with my teammate and coach. I taught my coach some language so that it would be easy for him and I to communicate during training. There's so many stuff that going through my mind before a fight. For example, my friends, my fam my family and whatever stuff that I am dealing with. And before that, I walk in a cave. I pray that anything bad won't happen to me. When it's a great feeling, except waking up the next day, felt like I got hit by a truck. And <laughs> but it's worth it though. <laughs> I walk in a cave and yes, I was very nervous because I was deaf and you know, my coach dreaming, the band dreaming and you know, as I lost my first fight, I didn't, I didn't give up but I kept, kept on fighting and get better every day. After I lost my first fight, I would never forget what my opponent did to me. And what I remember is that he told me that I would go far with my MMA career. And to me, it felt like earning his respect was more important than winning. Everybody want to quit after they lose. But if I did that, I would have nothing. When my family found out I was deaf, it was a lot for them to take in. They wouldn't how to respond to a deaf child, but they wouldn't do anything to support me. If my parents were here now, they would have to support me. But unfortunately, my mom passed away and my dad would never allow me. I lost my mom when I was 13 years old. 
and to lot her battle to lot her battle with A and that made a big impact with my life. So after I lost my mom I told myself that I will make my family happy and to support my family, which is why now I am fighting for my family. Even though my mom isn't here to guide me, I know she will have to support me and I even have her name on my back. Due to my parents, so young, is what making me stronger and motivates me. Sometimes I would always wonder what life would be like if my parents were here. But I always know that they would be really proud of me of what I accomplished. There is one thing that makes me different than other people. I don't give up, I keep on going, and I find a way to make it work. Being deaf taught me to appreciate life. I take nothing for granted, and I give back whatever I can. If I could say one thing to inspire the fighters, and my group would say, don't let the past destroy the future.